Okay, so I was straightening out the flanges on these. Things. Now, the internal ones um, are a little bit different than if you watch the video from Vans um, for the, the RV8. These are RV14 ones, and so they have notches every, almost everything. So they pretty much straighten up however you need them to straighten up because there's not really one solid line there so those are pretty you don't really have to straighten those but these you do um and the one thing they said on the tank video from vans is you're not necessarily looking for whether or not this thing is perfectly flat or straight or anything what you want to do is you want a 90 degree edge which all of these are because i just did them and then you want the the rivet holes to line up perfectly straight and so that's why you see some of the i don't know if you can see there i didn't um flute every single space in between the rivets because i needed to line them up as they went so they formed a perfectly straight line of rivets going down on both sides that still means this i mean it's pretty straight let's be honest it's awfully doggone straight but it's not completely like laying flat on the table, um, but all of the lines are lined up perfectly straight. And you can see that if I go get my flexible ruler here. I don't know if I'll be able to hold it well enough or not, but if you line up the top of that hole and let's just go down here to where I can hold it to the top of that hole you will see all of the tops of the holes line up so that's basically what we're doing lining up those holes so they're perfectly straight because in the tank those rivet holes are perfectly straight in a line so that's what you're basically working on here For those? okay <clears throat> so because I was dumb when I was doing the J channels for the wings and be careful which ones you cut because you do get enough but if you cut the wrong ones um, then you won't have enough for the tanks so I had to order more so they came in and now I have them so they're right here so the first thing you have to do is you have to mark and drill that first hole right there I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Um, and then you draw a line down the middle. And you draw the line down the middle so you can see the line through the holes. It should go through the middle of all the holes. And then you drill every so often to line up the that line so that J channel goes straight across there. And then you just drill out the holes. And so that's pretty much what I've been working on is on the right wing this is right tank that is left tank i think let's make sure yeah this is the left tank that is the right tank there's my son i don't know what he's doing he's crazy um but he is looking for you know a girl so if any of you have daughters around 20 years old i he, kind of a moron so i mean come on what are you gonna do right but he is a nice kid he's a good kid so there you go so feel free to comment and let me know if your daughters are interested um but basically for the right wing that's what i'm working on is i'm going to drill out all of those holes hello everybody my name is ainsley and my dad has a cold and has lost his voice so now i'm doing the voiceover so as you can see I'm my dad is drilling into this airplane um, in between the little things that poke out um, and now we're putting more of those in because we have to to hold it together um, and yeah I'm sporting my he's sporting his dog deserve tacos shirt um, super fun now we're drilling but you can see the inside and here we go drilling in between them again and you want to get the right angle <clears throat> so i'll show you kind of what i do to get the right angle those both have holes in it. this one does not this one's ready 
So I have these Clecos in here, and you notice they're all kind of at the same angle. They're all lined up this way. So when I set my drill bit, I don't want to, I want to be at the same angle as those Clecos. So I don't want to be up like this, and I don't want to be down like this. I want to be kind of at the same angle, so I know that I'm going in the hole right. Yet again, we are drilling in the plane. I'm still wearing the same shirt, and we're putting more of the Yachty thingies on there. Looking at it, examining it, making sure we're doing a good job. Um, yep, drilling again. That's what we do. <laughs> and now we're lifting it up to drill on it um, because we have to make sure that we get those parts that are being hidden just like that J channel done now you got to deburr it and dimple it obviously but there it is okay so now I am working on the left wing I don't know tank which tank am I working on that is the left tank <clears throat> and I'm working on the J channel for the left tank. I completed the J channel for the right tank just a little bit ago, but here J channel for the left tank. I'm still drilling out the holes, but you can see it kind of attached there all the way down. Looks nice and straight. So that's what I'm working on. Okay, as he said, we are now working on the J channel, um, the, the tank on the other side. Um, so while we're doing that, we're going to say a joke. Um, what does a baby computer call his father? Data. <laughs> okay, we have another joke, and this one is birthday themed because it's my birthday tomorrow. Woot woot. Okay, knock knock. Omar. Omar. Oh my gosh, it's your birthday! <laughs> As you can see, he's using the little the little doohickey to do stuff to the metal pole that he sanded off. Um and it's bent, it has a corner to it, so it's important. And that's why we're doing stuff to it. Yeah. Drilling and deburring and dimpling holes. It's got to be 60% of building an airplane. So if you're not okay with the tedium, tedious stuff of drilling and deburring holes and deburring parts, don't build an airplane. But I have to admit, it's really cool when it comes together. As he said, it is pretty cool when it comes together. I've seen the plane. It's pretty cool. Just like my dad. So I'm going to clean off. I don't know, because you can still kind of see the, the blue line. And what I don't want to do is have that it dimple these holes. Right? Because those go towards the skin. So the hole gets dimpled that way. I don't want to have that blue line not be able to clean it off after I dimple it. So I'm going to clean it off first, then dimple it. Okay, so what we learned from that is that we can't have a blue line. And so we're going to wash it off with our super cool blue paper towels and our um, stuff in the blue jar. And that is going to clean off the blue line that we do not want on our little thing that bends. And you might be saying, hey Brandon, you moron, you're not using gloves and so these are now all covered with your your finger skin oils. And you would be correct, um, but I was just getting the black, blue line off of those really, just kind of getting some dust off of them. Um, I will clean them again before I actually do the tank stuff with, um, I have some degreaser stuff 
that I'll use and then the acetone to clean it off officially before I actually use the tank sealant to attach them. So yes, you're right. I should have used my gloves and, but they're going to get touched again numerous times. So I was like, eh, I'm just cleaning the stuff off so I can feel somewhat confident that when I dimple them, the blue line isn't still going to be in the dimple after I try to clean them the next time. So that's why I was doing that. This is your friendly reminder to wear gloves as you are using the stuff in the blue jar to get rid of the blue line. We have a lot of blue, as you can tell from his outfit. Um, and now we are using the staple gun of sorts <laughs> to... Oh, wait, this is dimpling. And we're doing that to our thing. Um, and that is making it so that the blue line is not going to be affected. Um, and now as you can see, it is daytime and we are dimpling the big sheet of metal. Um, that is, um, my dad's truck in the back and it's pretty cool. And we are pushing down on that lever to make sure that we're dimpling, um, very good using all of our dad's strength, um, as one does. Yeah. And then we're fast forwarding. That is my brother um, helping my dad do the dimpling. Um, yeah. What? He's dimpling the wings because that is what you must do when the skins of the tanks. That makes sense. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment if you would like to. We are trying to build up our community um, in the slink air field. So like and subscribe.